Oh, cuties. Yeah. So conservative people are like literally so fixated on this cuties thing because they don't they don't watch the movie. They just you know Tucker Carlson said it, Steve Crowder said it. So you got to say it too. And they're still doing it even though it's been like out for like two years. These are the same people who literally voted for Donald Trump, the guy who ran the Teen Miss USA pageant and would literally walk behind and look at naked teen girls. And he's just like, yeah, I love those. Love it when those young ones. Mm. You don't want to know what's funny about this. First of all, this motherfucker hasn't even watched the movie, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know what the movie's about. But First, Demon Mama, like, aren't you debating why Cuties is a, like an okay film? No. Where so did I ever argue think, that? I, wait, so is Cuties not like, it's not a good film? I haven't seen Cootie, Cuties. I don't care. I, oh, I, but oh then why are you God. debating oh. it? Wait, Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. You just said it's an exploitation of children now. Oh, okay. Did you, Let's did give you them an award. Did you notice? Did you notice that my sentence hadn't finished there, little bit boy? You noted a big sentence. Yeah, I did. That's why I intruded. You're a good jerk. This never fucking finishes. cuties there have been movies made on the coming of age of boys all the time the moment that they make a, a coming of age movie on girls everybody loses their fucking minds it's not like we haven't seen movies like this before um and men have always had movies cater towards them that are happen there to have are there movies that literally depict actual young boys in the exact same manner the same way yes pretty much there, yes. plenty in fact, that were like plenty. debuting that we're yeah, debuting wait, in 20 Classic. fucking 21 when yep. we're aware of all this shit and when we're aware of like the scope and the magnitude of like the Epstein trial going on and all this other shit. We know how big this shit gets. And we're still making that, this in the wait, face of this. We're using movie? actual real actors. Watch the movie. At the very least, did you, you watch get the movie? like 18 year old actors who look did younger. Did you watch the movie? I, I'm not, I didn't actually watch ah, the movie. I watched every, you didn't even I watched know what you're talking every, about. Yeah, so you're basing it I off of a trailer. The entire fucking dialogue of, of everything that people watch the movie. I didn't fucking, I'm not going to watch that shit because I didn't want to. Like, okay, I don't need to. I, I read, I read every it's, fucking it's, paper. It's, it's, I am going to boldly declare my opinion it, on something it, I don't it, know there, anything it, about. It, there's nothing ne needs to be more said than you have actual 12 year olds and actual 8 to 12 year olds. We've had that for centuries. How are we? Wait, I'm We've sorry. That, that doesn't. Centuries. So, wait, wait. so that makes it better now? So, what about these what? other movies? No, makes it better? Is, how come boys, Imagine, how come okay. boys get so to have these, these are, movies that no. are coming of age movies for them, so, but girls are. Alright, alright, start us, start us, start us. That doesn't make it right for them. Start us, where if do you, you stand on the movie? dudes pretending to like, to pretending to like, whatever, do whatever. Any kind of sexual acts like that. All right, you, I start us. Where, where do you say it was coming out today? I would that, be just though. as upset. I would be just All as right. upset if that was coming out today. Excuse me. As I would be of, of how, this coming out today. The fact that it was coming out in a different era. How many boys jerking off? Yep. Sure, but that doesn't Fun. mean that I'm okay with them using those actors yeah, to you do just that. Don't, like, you just don't, but you just don't give a shit until it's convenient it's for you a, to, be, to make like a big. Well, how many gigantic viral it, fucking it, moments we're, we're have people had an opportunity the to give a shit, shit about it? And, Guys, and this guys, is okay. this is like oh well this is fine Artists nobody on, nobody Artists cares about this. With this so like god guys, forbid guys. we make a we make a joke about somebody who's actually from somebody who's actually a comedian and now we want to be outraged and now no the, this now town, now the workers is at netflix want to like, like well what if what happens first you make a joke about first they, you they don't want to be outraged about, about the actual, and then all of a sudden miss butterworth is gone fact, the actual fact that we actually had a serious like like, like pedophile ring being busted what and all this Epstein crazy shit happening. What does Epstein have to do with in... cuties? What does Epstein have to do with because any movie we, about kids? Because we found out that it was like a super serious thing. And then like not even yeah, like six You found out pedophilia was a super serious thing? Fucking Netflix like, hey, it by the way. It is a super serious thing, but it's not about cuties. Are you kidding let's me? Let's How let's does let cuties have us, anything to do with Epstein? Let's let you watch us. Cuties was on the flight log, Stardust. You haven't looked it up. Let's let you watch us do it in real time. Hold on. I just want and to remind those, you. That, and those wait. were just the actors. The actors that were in Cuties, those were just the ones who made it. 
Imagine all the other fucking actors where they had to this sit there in the fucking director's room and they had to be like, okay, this is you saying this again, now, uh, not having uh, let you watched watch, any of let it. Let you watch our choreographers teach you how to twerk. Okay, now I want you to pretend how to twerk. Okay, now uh, I wait, want wait, you wait, to like your grab problem? your crotch for the, oh, for the no. audition. Young okay, girls okay. twerking, that's a huge eight, issue when girls at the old. age of 10 at, are getting into palms in high school and junior high school. Are you fucking well, kidding me? Okay, the lack of their they're parents like being able to like control their shit. They're at the age of 12. That's not okay. good either. That's not healthy well, either for them to be working you, wait, anywhere. Wait, 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 I want to say something. Wanna... Dude, this guy sucks. Oh, God, he's making all the wrong concessions. What the fuck is happening? Holy shit. Their argument sucks. His argument sucks. This whole thing sucks. Holy fuck. The generous shit. Secondly, secondly, sec secondly, secondly, it's really funny to me that you would complain about, like, how the fuck did he bring up Jeffrey Epstein? Oh, my God. I said was that I wish I said I wish that Netflix workers would have walked you are out a moron. for that. I said all I said was that I wish Netflix workers would have walked out for that too. Damn, good thing, they caught, good thing they caught Epstein, so you knew to stop raping kids. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I haven't seen Cuties, but I will say that everything about the marketing for that movie was definitely pretty sussy, especially the poster. But Nobody has had to, okay. My no. but, all right. but I will say, from my understanding of things, because I I did read about it when the discourse happened, like a year and a half ago. Apparently, the lady who made the movie said the movie is supposed to be like meant to bring attention. I, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, no, 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 no. You, you, you had enough time talking. Okay, Let me I, talk to Xander. I, I, I understand the point of the movie. Okay, the point was to point out that how social media affects things and how the culture is affecting next. things. But that's next, like next, making okay. a movie. It's like making a movie to point out how bad murder is and murdering somebody in the actual making of the film. Like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody got raped in the making of the film. You actually used 12-year-olds, and you actually showed them and taught them and choreographed how for them to, like, twerk and grab their crotches and do all this. these sexual I'm shit. I'm sorry, Nacho, Nacho, like, I'm going to tell you something right about? now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something right now, okay? You Holy don't, you shit. don't, no, no, okay, wait a second, wait a second. No adult teaches you how to twerk, okay? When you're 11 at the school dance, when you're 11 at the school Whoa. dance, you learn from the other girls. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We all okay. fucking knew. We were shaking our asses at 11. Continue, Nick. You're right. No, we weren't. All right, I'll, okay. I'll try to explain. You not weren't. only that, but I'm going to fat right. shame here, too. Oh, this sorry, nobody at my school. When you grow up as a female, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You can shut the fuck up, okay? I'm sorry, just a second. When you grow up as a female, you learn to deal with being objectified from a very young age. I, I can tell you that from a very young age, I didn't consent to being objectified, but I was, okay? I learned how to, to grind my ass on the dance okay. floor at 11. No adult taught me that, All right. okay? So just, just want to say one thing. I'll try to make this point without alluding to Jeffrey Epstein, Pizzagate, uh, or, or, um, yeah, any of those other wait, things. Pizzagate and other random shit are okay, fucking wait, wait, wait. fictional okay. nonsense. Nacho, okay. you're interrupting a real again. Thing. Okay, all right. Nacho, I'll... you're interrupting again. Okay. So, apparently it was some big meta commentary on, like, child exploitation. I just think that could have been accomplished better without child exploitation. That's all I'm saying. Um, I, I don't think any what? people got raped on set. I, I don't, I'm, that's, that's my only issue with the film. Okay. Um, they just got... Something I want to say about what? this, I... I think that it's it's really ironic that like a lot of the people who are like this movie is offensive then will will do this weird thing where they smudge what actually happened. So as far as I understand it in the film there was a scene that was had girls twerking that was shot with parents present with choreographers present with like numerous like that uh, makes people it there. better. It's stop. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Um yeah, actually, it does. Their parents the were reason. watching, well, so that Demon makes it Mama. Okay. Shut All right, hold on. Not, Demon not Mama. Show. Can you? Do you do you think that like it's a, like a, some sort of exploitation Can, when those? I literally haven't been able to finish a sentence for. Yeah, I haven't I talked in like thirty like... minutes either. I just just one question. You were just talking. Yeah, it was like five. What I had a little. About? I had a little blip. Demon Mama. I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. Uh, that's fine. I, I'm just gonna finish what I'm talking about. So, what do you think? Like, do you think when there's like those dance moms who you have their kids go to pageants? You literally interrupted me to start your point, dude. Yes, I did. I'm gonna continue doing it so like do you think that the dance right, moms who go to pageant oh, all right whatever all right
<laughs> you don't want to talk, that's fine. Wait, wait, no. let's let let's let Dima and Mama finish her point and then you can ask her a question, Nick. All okay. Right. Yeah, my previous my, my my point is that like, yeah, in a movie for a movie set, having like a bunch of people on hand to make sure there isn't any like sexual harm being done, these kids were, as I understand it, like kids who were familiar with the um the pageant scene, which is like what was I think it was the pageant or dance off scene Holy that's being shit, criticized. Chat. What Having the kids fuck is be able to depict no, something for the No, the posters the being criticized. The movies being criticized. The fucking trailers being criicized. Having these kids like sh uh, ushered off oh so some dude God. can film this shit. It's not. Filmed yeah, no, it doesn't have to be filmed in a fucking dancing. porn studio yes, for it, it to be bad. What the fuck are you no, talking about? It's for about. a purpose that's not involved in exploiting the children. For and their parents are there. The children are there to make informed decisions with their parents there to say, hey. This is Wait, children act. make informed decisions now? Why can't why can't you're, they use are, eighteen year old really young actors? That's all. Right. That's my only question. Holy I don't have a shit. problem with what the, the message. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, obviously it wasn't shot in a fucking porn studio, and the parents were all there to sign off on it. Uh, the parents are all there during those little pageant shows where their fucking sixty year old mothers drag their kids on there to fucking dance around the yeah. stage. Really wait, 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 wait. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making my argument for me. You're welcome. So what I'm saying is a film. Wait, a film that makes. That, that says, hey, we're going to do this in a safe way. We're going to depict something that's real so that people will learn about it so that it will stop happening. You're saying oh, that Oh, so done. cuties wait, ended wait, wait. sexual oh. exploitation of children now. Oops. Okay, oh, oops. let's give did them an you, award. Did you, did you notice? Did you notice that my sentence hadn't finished there, little big boy? You know, did I Yeah, I did. That's why I intruded. Your Dude, sentence cunt. never fucking finishes, man. Uh, I, wait, I why is there silence I now? I thought I, you were I, talking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was before you opened. So then, keep and, going. Uh, I'm waiting. I don't really want to. Okay, that's I, good. I I would like to add something. Um, I don't. I do think there's a discussion worth having about what are the bounds of taste when it comes to depicting in in like the form of a TV show, movie, anything like that, of a very problematic I, thing, right? So I, for look, example, there, there's a movie. Wait, I just let me finish really quick. I haven't talked much. This okay. panel. There's a movie called a Serbian film. Uh, I will not be watching it. My girlfriend Bro, tried this to convince me to so watch hard. it, and she said, "Don't look Holy up the ending. Shit. Don't look up the ending." And I was like, "Ah," oh. and and I didn't look up the ending. And then a friend spoiled it for me. And I did not want to watch that movie because the ending of that movie, spoiler alert, don't watch it. So listen to the spoiler is the the main character ends up being tricked into, I believe, raping his wife and son. And that's the that's how the movie ends. And the movie's about sex trafficking and um, like children being exploited by like it, basically exploitation in the sex work industry. That was was generally what the movie is about. Oh, from my understanding. That's spicy, and it's, it? it's pretty it? graphic. It's definitely a movie that'll leave you feeling pretty fucked up if the ending is anywhere near as fucked up as my friends described it to me. And um, I, I, I'm not watching that movie, and I'm not watching Cuties, but I do think there's an argument to be made that as long as there's a, narr there, there's a discussion being had, it's worth bringing up this issue, though I will say within the bounds of taste is preferred because I'm not really... I, I don't. Yeah, it was know. made to be a big shocking public statement, and guess what? People reacted as if it was a big shocking think, public statement. Well, we don't. We don't know the intent right. of the creator in regards to that. But what I will say is, Netflix certainly fucked up on the marketing. Netflix. I, seems I can live to have with that. Yeah. I can live with that. So, so I, I, I don't have any. I, 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 sorry, okay, sorry. here's the thing. Here's the here's the thing. Um, where we were just talking about what's appropriate, what's off bounds in comedy, Dude, right? Team Mama and looks like she's molding. She's muted, going off pretty much right now. Everything, <laughs> is, you know, nothing is off limits, right? Um, <laughs> so I would say, like, it, as long as nobody's getting hurt, and and the parents are aware, and there there is um, a conversation, a nuanced conversation happening in a like in a piece of art or something do we apply the same rules that we do with comedy to other types of media i don't when kids are involved now yeah that's my thing i don't have a problem that's what i was trying to like clarify i don't have a problem with the messaging of cuties i read the script i read all the fucking shit about it like the entire fucking storyline i know all that shit i don't have any desire to watch it because they used actual eight to twelve year olds that's what i was trying to point out like Use some fucking eighteen-year-olds. Use some some people who are of fucking legal age to uh, body doubles. Some anything like don't actually teach young girls to do this. I understand, but you're making the point, Stardust, where you're talking about like, oh, well, this is how we learn this shit. That doesn't make it any better. Like the fact that we're like teaching kids at such a young age, or that social media is influencing such young kids at at such a young age, 
is a problem, and I see that that's what Cutie's is trying to point out, and that is an issue. But now that we know that that's an issue, for us to actually use that age group of people to make this video is the equivalent to be like, hey, let's see, you know, let's make a movie about how bad murder is and murder somebody in the process. Let's move, let's um, make a movie about how bad it is for kids to use drugs and make and let kids actually use drugs in the making of the movie. Like, it's so fucking stupid to me. Like, I just can't. There's no way for you for for me to like justify this and be like, yeah, this is okay. Yeah, this is totally fine. And, I, and for it's the also, argument it's... that's like, oh, well, you haven't watched it, because, so you can't say anything about it. Well, fucking ninety nine percent of the people who made all this dumbass fucking comments about Dave Chappelle shit also didn't watch it. They watched three to four minute clips where he says like, I'm Team Turf and whatever two or three other fucking buzzword clips that they had. But they didn't actually watch the entire statement through because if they did, they would have realized that like only 10 minutes or 15 minutes of it total was like designated to like the, the, the that, trans That's an abject lie, by the way. And the, I watched it. It's not because I watched the whole fucking thing. And I clipped it too, so. that That's yeah. not true. D Dave Chappelle for almost the entire sketch, not all of it, but for almost the entire sketch, was complaining about cancel culture, the fact that he'd gotten canceled. Cancel culture and, is not the same and, as uh, the whole trans making thing, yeah. statements specifically the, the, the about the trans culture community. The topic follows directly from and is directly, in his case, related to the trans It was topic. an hour-long special, and he spent like 15, maybe 20 well, minutes specifically the on trans half stuff. Of the if you the, want to say how much he spent on the entire end half is. 15 minutes alone. The entire end half of the special is about trans people. The first half... Dude, Nacho seems like he's pretty vased on certain things, but then Lenny keeps talking and it just gets outrageous. Like, no, no, it definitely wasn't 15 minutes. Like, that's crazy. No, Jeffrey Epstein, no, that's not that's not Eddie there. Fuck, I feel like I'm so centrist right now, but Jesus, fuck, dude. Five minutes, maybe. If we're talking about just LGBTQ stuff, then maybe like 25 minutes. Yeah, I did it. Listen, I did a live, I did a live coverage of this thing. Uh, so if you want to actually know that this guy's a fucking liar, that that almost that entire special was focusing on trans people and gay people. So it's just not true that he did that. He spent like five. Just seconds. watch That's it for yourself. Because, That's what I was please, saying. Please, I encourage you, watch it for yourself. And watch it for yourself out. and watch Dave Chappelle's old comedy, so you can see like when Dave Chappelle makes actual good jokes with like good commentary. Agreed. And things Agreed. that are actually yeah. informed on the topics that he's making. Jokes. I, I found that. A I found that panel. Go watch like, the Bigsby thing sketch. That's a classic. So you, okay, did you not so find that a... whole thing at all funny in, in any parts of it? You thought the whole thing was just bad? Me? Yeah. I didn't. I think they there can't was like... admit that. Even if they did believe no, no, that, no. they can't say that. What a moronic thing to put in and say. What a, what a moronic thing. <laughs> Thank you for speaking for me, you <laughs> fucking clown. Um. Okay. Uh. Here's a secondary question, I guess. If if you if like a large crowd finds something unfunny, right? that Dave Chappelle What the fuck made. was that? Is it worth it? That was a terrible insult. Like, why would Nacho you, say well, that? not worth it. Do you think that Netflix has an obligation, let's say a comedian makes a, a special someone like Dave Chappelle did, and has a, his, a good track record of making really good specials, but this one fucking bombs. This one fucking Wait, bombs. How, what is, one... how do you decipher it, it bombs? Bomb, though. Like... Okay. Was, okay. If it bombs the, 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 with like a specific audience, audience and then like that audience doesn't watch it, we'll be able to look through the statistics and they yeah. won't hire him. Okay, again. but I'm asking I'm asking in generality, okay? Yeah. Um okay, I'm asking in generality. There there's one special that a comedian and, and let's say everybody uh, this is again a hypothetical. Everybody just kind of finds it most people find it unfunny. Okay? Do you think that it makes sense for Netflix to not continue making deals with that person because they had one uh special that was wrong that was that was not as good uh as compared to a whole career of specials that were good i mean i think that happens like there's all i i don't think that's a, an easy question to answer like because i think it depends on the priority of the company right because like uh, i mean not all companies are like 100 percent like viewership focused as as uh netflix is like you know like the criterion collection is like a corporation that that buys up old movies that like old classics and then republishes them for people to buy in like high de high definition they don't really care so much about like the ratings of the movie as much as like this is a film that needs to be made you know kept as a piece of history and that's valuable to those people so i think it really that's like i don't i think that's a hard question to answer but I do think that like this sort of thing happens like all the time, both justly and unjustly. Um, there are so many artists who like, for example, a great example of this is a uh, Charlie Kaufman who did like adaptation 
and uh, he did uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Um, his movies bomb in the movie in the in the box offices every single time. He can't get, and and it's really hard. It's been really increasingly hard for Charlie uh, Charlie Kaufman to get like another movie, even though his movies are considered to be cinematic masterpieces. They're just they're a certain type of film that like a lot of people can't get into. It's kind of unjust. Um, but there's other cases where it's much more just, you know, like uh, that, the, like the time when the, the Kramer guy d dropped the N word at, at screaming at a patron. Uh, most people looked at that or John Tron, for example, who's a very funny guy, but went on a racist rant on the internet for a lot of people to see. And people go, wow, actually that kind of bothers me. Like, I don't know. I think it's hard to determine. I don't think that there's like a single answer again for every company. If I was running a company, it would be important to me that like, the stuff that I put my name on um, would be something that I'm proud of. But I don't really own a corporation. I don't run a corporation. I have a channel, like me and my team of people, and we make those sorts of decisions. So I don't know. All right. Well, if I uh, ran a company, that my company would be run by shareholders, money, and being happy with that money for the shareholders. So I don't know how many people left Netflix in comparison or how many people um, – thought that that special was so bad that they don't want to continue doing it. I know there was a lot of people on Twitter who were mad, but I'm not sure if that was a vocal minority. Uh, I don't know if 100,000 people said something on Twitter and 1.5 million people loved it at home. So all I do know is Dave Chappelle is set to do a festival next year for Netflix, and he's already been rehired as of two weeks ago. So that's where I stand on the issue. Yeah, I mean, I think the issue here fundamentally comes down to the profit motive. Um, and obviously, Netflix is motivated to make the old money. Um, and the unfortunate reality is, um, you know, this is um, fucking some nerd shit, but it's the idea of the spectacle. And if you want to criticize the spectacle, you have to engage in the spectacle. So, um, you know, I haven't watched the special. From what I understand, there was some fucking pretty you know, uh, questionable shit in there, but I can't really comment further than that. Um, but when you criticize the Dave Chappelle special, you promote the special. Um, and that's what makes it so difficult now in the, the environment that we live in. Um, so, um, I, you know, not to say that it's anyone's fault that he's been rehired, um, but it's almost like you can't, you can't um, get to a situation where you can critique something without partially advertising it too. Um, so all of this controversy just fuels it and fuels it and fuels it. And Netflix are the ones that win in the end. So it's like, how do you deal with that? I don't know what the answer is. Uh, well, okay. I don't know. That's a, that is a hard question. Like, I mean, because there's this there's this other thing too, which just goes back to what I was talking about, which is that we, we recognize that some people's speech is freer than others. If you have money, the likelihood that you're going to, like, especially if you have a lot of money, if you have a lot of money, you can just hire people to broadcast you. You can just pay to bankroll the ability to get your word out to more people. And obviously we recognize that gets even worse when you're talking about companies that literally own the broadcasting stations and they get to choose everything that goes on there. And if they, if it's something that's critical of them, they won't air it and maybe nobody else will. So it might literally just kill that. I don't know. I think that is complicated. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if there's a single clean answer in this situation. All that I, all that I think is that like, uh, I think there's a lot of hypocrisy on like, people being like i don't know I, I notice a lot of people get really fucking triggered when somebody does an, an intentionally offensive the the things you can't say cancel me tour and then some people say dude you're just a dumb shit and then they go oh i'm being canceled it's just i don't know yeah that's super a little annoying bit of it on both sides oh there, there absolutely is it on both sides that's why hassan yeah. piker was currently banned from twitch <gasps> oh so Wait, can I can I just say with you. I I, th I think it's funny how like you know a lot of people on the left or Democrats will want to say that like oh yeah the electoral college is bust like people should be able to vote to democratically but like when it, when the, when these kinds of situations arise where people are voting democratically through their dollar they're saying that like yeah Dave Chappelle's special was pretty fucking funny and that's why Netflix is going to have him on again that's terrible we should do away with that right. And then to the same to the same note that like Chad Chad Logic was talking about like oh well you know it's only because you know people are making so much controversy about this and therefore it's getting more promotion and that's the only reason people are watching it more. But the same we don't okay compare the numbers of Cuties and Dave Chappelle special they were equally as controversial, and what has more backing behind it? You think whatever no name fucking producers on that made Cuties are gonna have more fucking viewer? No. Because people, the, the, they lost subscriptions as a result of Cuties being published on Netflix. 
I would wager that the controversy from QTs benefited Netflix more than it hurt them in the long run. Um, I don't. I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't agree. I think there was even how, information. How can we measure that? I, I can't. Wait, I, I can't to, pull I it up to, 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 right now. But I did actually have. There wasn't. There was information at the time that there were were subscribers like they. Like Netflix but the, but this, but this is But this is my point. Your, your, your point works both ways. The point applies to the Dave Chappelle special, but it absolutely applies to the QE special too. The best thing you can do if there's a product that you think is bad, unfortunately, the reality is is to kind of just ignore it. And that's tricky because, you know, yeah. I see both sides of it, right? I see that like QTs, I see the argument that there's an issue there and maybe it was. I see the Dave Chappelle side and how maybe some of the jokes there could have been an issue. So, you know, it's kind of like... Um, the best thing to do is ignore it, but then if something is bad in your opinion, you've got a right to talk about it, but you unfortunately just fuel this sure, attention economy shit, you know? Like, like, how long ago did Cuties come out? Like, let's be real, stuff, right? nobody gave it, nobody, and I never have met anybody outside of, like, literally a panel that was ever talked about Cuties. The conservatives have, like, a brain worm well, it's because you don't cuties. touch grass like, you stay on oh, well sorry my online. friends in my yeah my you friends outside of here don't watch cuties that's oh not their God. demographic I, I have people i have people in real life who were offended by did you know that i was talking i live in a really you know I, I live in a really red state did you know that i, I was people... talking did you know that i was talking before and then you put it in again just honestly man go ahead honestly what go ahead go ahead a woman talk go ahead give us another fucking 20 minutes did he just say honestly, man? Holy fuck, I don't want to be next to this guy. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, dude. I, I'm i so in the middle of it. Well, not in the middle of this, but... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. But I'm definitely feeling it right now. So. Yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely look, feeling Look, I'm comfortable. I, look, I'm yeah, definitely I'm good, love for everybody on this panel, okay? But... I mean, I was, if I you was want to make jokes about like interrupting, and you're gonna right. get out for still, fucking twenty minutes, and talk, like, I think there was ahead. an interesting okay. backwards and forward that could have occurred. Wait, there. let her Sorry, speak, I man. I'm gonna to talk say through say sign language, language chat. I gotta learn sign language so I can add to this discussion. What were we talking about? Oh, cuties. Yeah. So conservative people are like literally so fixated on this cuties thing because they don't they don't watch the movie. They just you know Tucker Carlson said it, Steve Crowder said it, so you got to say it too. And they're still doing it even though it's been like out for like two years. These are the same people who literally voted for Donald Trump, the guy who ran the teen Miss USA pageant and would literally walk behind and look at naked teen girls and he's just like, yeah, I love those, love it when those young ones. Mm. And like they're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's a very serious issue. This. The, the the kids twerking in this, this it's destroying the universe in the west anyway let me go vote for the actual pedophile um yeah so i don't know all of this seems like like i feel like we've gotten to a point in the conversation where it's just like there's like 10 different things being talked about and like i don't really know what any of them really means because like it just seems like one guy's really really like fixated on this cuties film i'm like i don't know dude maybe you should just go watch the movie and uh, yeah but your straw man falls apart thank you, you try to compare whenever you try to compare pageants to cuties right and if it, your best defense is is oh, donald yeah, trump yeah. bad like i don't know what the fuck else i don't really have anything to say like what if i what if i bring up a different you guys are like you guys love you guys love oh, child wait, rapists. Wait, you guys are your I mean, look, you're you're, you're, you're no, sure that no, I actually, I actually, know, I actually, I actually know somebody you know, that's been involved in this pageant for a number of years, right? And their involvement with the track down actually their involvement with the with the pageant scene, right, hasn't been what it is that you're attempting to characterize it as, and that's why the straw man that you build is getting burned the fuck up right now. This is why it's okay for me to rape a bear where I didn't know that it was bad. Rape children until Epstein okay, was arrested, okay. and I voted for a pedophile. But I'm the good one. I, I've got she can't to, stay on stop, one stop, thing. Stop, stop, stop. I've got something to say that I think I think is important. Okay, I, I just want to try and bring some clarity here. Bring the temperature down on everything. Okay, we're getting a bit heated. What I want to ask you, um, Mr. Nacho, if I can call you that, okay, is yes, this? Sir. Okay, so. Um, I don't. I don't think it's quite that Donald Trump's bad. I think we went down the Donald Trump route. Okay. Um, Dima Mama chose that path. Fair enough. I respect you, Dima Mama. I would have gone down a slightly different path. Okay. And what don't I would be say nice, to you is this: Chad, Come on. No. What? Okay. Listen. I'm being nice to both of you. Okay. Right. I'm being nice to both of you. So what I wanted to say to you, Nacho, is this. Okay. Do you not see how the film Cuties, which I admit some to me is some pretty fucking whack shit, don't you think that like some of the American beauty pageants that exist? Or a bit fucking weird champ too but and yes maybe there were i agree really all of like, the i don't know what every, I, both this can be bad so many times Wait, please i need a second just to say you need like an hour dog just, just, shoot what? shoot 
Give me what? one second. Okay. What? Mind because blown. What? I'm getting, because I'm on the other end of this, okay, Nick? Oh. So I just want to say, like, I don't I don't agree with any of the patterns either. I don't know what you're expecting bringing this up. And it's not just, it's not really you. It's been mostly, I, I feel like Demon Ron mostly was the one who brought this up. I don't want the de the pageants to be a thing either. Okay. That shouldn't be normalized sure. either. Like, uh, and so like good. when Stardust brought up that like, well, girls are learning how to fucking twerk in school. That's not a good thing either. And I'm not saying this should be like a, a mandated thing either because I'm, at the end of the day, I still believe in like your rights, but like, this is a social thing that we have to fix. Like, I agree. And like I said, the message of cuties is good, right? Young okay. women being taught to fucking twerk at eight years old is bad. Sure, I'm not okay. for that. So, so, so I, you know, Holy I'm not shit. accusing you of being hypocritical. I know, I just okay? wanted to make sure. But what, what I'm suggesting is that like, there was this moral panic over this cuties film and there doesn't seem to be quite the same sort of panic about the pageant thing, I would actually argue in some ways the pageant stuff is worse because there's a physicality there and there's potential for abuse to happen that we're not even aware of, right? Not um, just potential, it does happen often. I, I would agree, but I I mean, I feel like that stuff is is dying out, it's being suffocated, like, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I hope Wait. it is anyways. It should be, if it's not already. If everyone agrees that the pageants are shitty, then what the fuck is the point? Like, we all agree well, the, the, that that's the, the, bad. Okay. I mean, just so, talking about cuties doesn't make pageants get more fucking no, 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 no. clicks, let, you know? Let me exp let me explain. This is this is why I think the, the, where the issue lies, right? It's that, like, there's, you know, this thing over here, cuties, big moral panic, da-da-da-da-da. But the, the, some of the people that maybe are getting really concerned about it um, don't seem to have, like, expressed or said, like, the same things about other problematic <laughs> aspects of American society because it's more normalized. It's like there's this new big thing. Oh, we've got to pay attention to this, da da da. But actually, there's other things going on to pay attention to. Is there a to. single person and who would say that can... cuties is bad, but pageants are good? List list them off and I'll disavow them, okay? I'll pull a, a <laughs> no, I'm not looking at fucking... I'm not looking at Because we're, we're debating a person that we don't know hypocrisy. if even exists. It's not about hypocrisy now. It's not about hypocrisy. That's not the point I'm making, okay? The point is, is that, you know, there's other stuff that's going on and people don't seem to be, to be um, you know, bothered to call it out. It's only So then use your Twitter and tweet it out. They're calling out uh, cuties because it's going viral on Twitter. No, 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 no. Listen, Let me see if I can phrase it in a way. Maybe I can phrase it in a way that's more understandable. Um, so but into drama YouTuber like... language. Okay. Uh, um, so, uh, Child Logic is saying that it's strange that there is this all of a sudden huge moral panic and all of this attention being brought to a single television or or what, movie I... or television series and when wait wait a second mm -hmm. i know i know okay i know uh i know it's it's heated um but we we don't see that same type of moral panic and outrage and mobilization of people of like humans like saying stuff about it when it comes to pageants. Yeah, and that's, right? that's totally I mean, fine, no... but Xander Hall explained it yeah. like five minutes ago that the reason why this got so yeah. much moral panic is because tw uh, Netflix made like a weird fucking poster for it and attached a movie trailer to it. So people went, what well, the fuck is this? Okay. And it went viral. No, come on. Let's yeah, exactly. and, 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 to okay. my point that I was making earlier. That is, it's about viral marketing. That's the point I'm making and right. we're all playing okay. into it all the time. Okay. That's my no. point. Okay. Well, hold on. There's another angle. Okay, well, has can I just say... There's another angle of this, wow, dude. Uh, there's another angle of this which ha which hasn't even been discussed, which is that let's be let's we all know what the headlines looked like around the time of Cuties, which is that realistically, I bet Netflix didn't even plan for this to be uh, a giant uh, controversy. I'm sure they were more than happy to capitalize on that, but I just even with the poster, which I do agree was like really really out of pace with the rest of the movie, I don't feel like like Netflix. I don't think there's evidence at all of Netflix like being like this is our next bi big my viral marketing hit. Like, I think you could make a better argument for, like, a Ghostbusters than that, where there's, like, more outrage baiting or whatever. I don't really think that happened with Cuties. But what did happen with Cuties <coughs> is that the day that that movie announced, a hundred right-wing newspapers all had the exact same article saying, leftists are degenerating the West with child porn on net leftist company BLM supporting Netflix. And if you don't believe me, all of those articles are still up. So go look them up. And so you have this problem of it's like, wow, geez, the right... The right wing sure seems to care a whole lot about uh, about the secret leftist conspiracy theory of the cuties film while literally ignoring 
all literally the fact that child pageants are most common in fucking red states and all of this other shit. It's just, there's no actual care for the issue. It's that, oh, well, we can use this as a bludgeon against our political opponent. All right, but Demon Mama, aren't like, you exactly debating why Cuties is a, like an okay film? No. So when wait, did I, when did I do you ever think, argue that? Wait, I, so is Cuties not, like, it's not a good film? I haven't seen Cootie, Cuties. I don't care. I didn't, oh, I then why are you I debating it? it? Wait, Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Are you using that as a dumb? Like you thought that I'm was sorry, a dumb? Sorry. To be I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you people stupid? Are you actually mentally challenged? Hold on. Can you just say that again? Have you watched Cuties? Yes. Are you people stupid? Let me say that. Please again. answer that one more that? time because you just said it. Can you just say it again? Are you people stupid? Just, say, just answer the question. I didn't bring up cuties. You did. Have you, you're have you watched Dude, you were giving Nacho shit like no. 10 minutes ago I for him not saying that I did. I never made any fucking claims I'm about it. I'm done with no. this. I, I'm done with this. Okay. Please go. go. Please. Oh my god, please go. Please. You're so, wait, you're wait, so wait, more wait, wait, right on this. Wait, wait, you, wait. You wouldn't. Wait, you wouldn't, wait. Demon. Okay, this got way more heated than I was expecting it to, but it's it's good content. But I'm actually confused. Arm it up, Stardust. I don't blame you. I never brought up cuties. I said, guys, like, I don't know. Let's talk about some of these things, that, that, like, like concepts that were connected to it. I never brought up or even defended cuties. I pointed out that I think the reaction was fucking stupid and that it doesn't, it's not in check with any other You've movie. You've literally been defending up. cuties oh. up until literally just I now. can't like, wait for the Booksmarts review of this one. Holy shit. Yeah, please, shit. God. Booksmarts, where are you at? Give me, let, let oh me know. Oh, my don't, God. Like, Holy shit. Wow, hey, hey, there we go. There's the there's the truth right there, everybody. I'll be making money for the next week. Shit on yeah. all of us, so okay? I, mean, I got a question, oh Stardust. Stardust, I got a question. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chad, isn't this embarrassing? Hey, what? <laughs> remember <laughs> remember the old, old days? Hey, CTV is speaking right now. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I just like the ninth time I've been out. I don't even give a shit anymore. Going to Anarchy. Wow, the I'm conversation dies down. I wait. You want to act that way. You yeah, already were just embarrassing. Hey, 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 Grandpa. I think you're definitely a... embarrassed, you know, by, uh, by your behavior a few minutes ago. Well, I can wait, understand wait, wait, why you're wait, laughing at me. Just ask me the question. Ask me the question that you had. Okay, so. You were the one that brought up cuties, right? Because it was a part of the question. I was the one right? who was who was kind of. I think I was the one who was defending it at a certain point. Yeah, um, but it got brought up as a part of the original question, right? I don't. Uh, I, I don't remember I, to I, be honest. I think. Hmm. I don't know who it the may fuck have brought been. it up. It may I have been. Yeah, I just. I may have brought I it up in. Like, I don't even eventually. remember who I brought it up. Fucking <laughs> yeah. Amazing, I incredible. Totally jumped on the fucking <laughs> yeah. train, okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the root here because Demon Mama's laying out some claims, right? Which I think are false. What claim? Wait, 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 wait. Please tell me what claim. <laughs> so, I'm just what trying claim? to. Get to hey, the... what claim? I want to know what well, claim oh, I laid I'm out. Sorry. Tell me. Did you want to be heard now? Did you want to be heard? Uh, but uh, you, you said I was laying out a claim. I want to know what claim it was. No, I don't actually, remember what happened five seconds ago. If we're gonna, I think if you're legitimately so stoned you don't remember what I'm happened. Here, what what word CCD. did you just say? What the fuck? Yeah, I know, I know, I'm horrible, so horrible. I can't believe that I just keep interrupting her. It's, I can't either. It's, oh, it's fucking just... posturing, okay, well, please. I'm okay. begging you. Just say what you got to say. I'm begging you, CTV, please. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So like, if if uh, Stardust is the one that brought it up, but it was a part of the original argument, right? Whenever Demon Mama went off on her whole tirade earlier on Nacho, right? About not watching it and blah blah blah. <laughs> you're buzzing, <laughs> and you're just going off about this shit, right? Mama it's like God, Mama you know God. that was after, a slam dunk. You watched it. Yeah, if we're gonna be fair, after, after if we're gonna be like fair, like thirty minutes later guys, after that, guys, guys, this guys, is so bad. Fair, I wasn't done. Can I finish? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. So sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> So like, so we go, we went like 30, 45 minutes of this shit, of which Demon Mama is talking like 25 to 30 minutes of it, let's be honest. Mama right? bad. To all Mama of us. Bad. Wait, I thought, I thought we weren't interrupting people. And witness, and witness right, the complete fucking- Dude, she's so unhinged, like CTV's literally talking and she's just screaming over him. Holy shit, wasn't she telling everybody like five minutes ago that like everyone won't let her finish a sentence? Dude, she is so fucking bad faith. This was everything I wanted and more. Holy fuck, dude. Comment, I've got a comment. That okay, it's gonna, it's okay, gonna go solve ahead. this. It's gonna solve it. It's gonna solve go it, I ahead, promise you, okay? So the, the fundamental, this is from Vanya in my chat, right? Smart person here. Fundamental issue. The people outraged at QTs, not necessarily on this panel, but very broadly, 
usually aren't motivated to change the social structures that lead to the exploitation of young women. I think that's the baseline point. And that, I think, is the key fundamental point. Yeah. So what somebody in chat said that my comparison of it to like coming of age was dumb, but I don't think so because coming of age, again, growing up at like, and as I don't know, in certain populations, coming of age is like that. It is like you learn these things pretty young. That is what it is. You get objectified before you know what objectification is. Um, so I, I don't think it's a bad comparison. Um, uh, I, the reason why I was defending it was just because I, I don't see, I, for me, I find it really strange how much panic there is over this when they're like, this is one of the very few films that's been made on it. And, um, uh, m like made on the idea of, of girls, you know, being sexual when that is the reality well, for girls. All right. Would, would you up. argue that it would be better I, if the so, actors or actresses in this case, or I don't know what's, sure. what's the right word. Yeah. If, if they, they were, were 18 years 18, old. Yeah. Cause of course it would be better. Don't you think but, it's yeah, a little I counterproductive? I just wanted to point out before, because I, before I forget, like I think I, I think Stardust Point was actually pretty myself, valid. That's bro. one of the Minecraft, best fucking of examples Holy or shit. one of the best offenses. This guy literally said, fucking said like I, sixty yeah, times. I, I guess that's my that only qualm. He needs to finish it. his point Make because he's in the middle of a conversation. Actor. Don't use and he actual just cut me underage off, and I'm so girls. Holy and teach shit, dude! Them I'm gonna lose it on this guy. I'm going to lose it on this guy. Sex objects as a way to like improve your message like that's my that my biggest qualm with this whole thing was just like if you're gonna yes murder is bad yes doing drugs is is probably bad at a young age like doing like you could name all these other things you can make a message about that and not do not commit the actual crime while you're making the movie that's my that's my yeah. only issue okay. you just you so reworded what message. i just said for like 45 minutes to interrupt me Come on, one bro. Thing, I'm not going to come on, been, bro. On. One, thing that, one thing that hasn't been brought up this entire time, though, right? Because we had the correlation over here to beauty pageants, right? Beauty pageants, gymnastics, ice skating. Like, there are a lot of things that, you know, people of a lot of different ages participate in. And I think people should be able to do that. Whenever you have bad actors that are involved in these things, that's when society holds them responsible. Get them the fuck out. But, like, I grew up with me and my sisters... Uh, and my mom, like the 96 Olympics when it came to Atlanta, like I still know who, you know, remember watching Dominique Mucciano and Dominique Dawes and, and uh, Carrie Strug, you know, and uh, fucking that whole Tanya Harden thing that happened. Like I, I remember Harding, watching all go. this stuff growing up, right? So, you know, like there's, there's, when, when bad actors, they go and do those things that we know are fucking wrong. I, I've got a whole <laughs> Element 82 helps with this situation. I'm just saying. But, that you know, having these things for people to be able to participate with, that's just like being a part of society. And if someone wants to host events and there's nothing out of the way that's sexualizing in these things happen, I think that's okay. As soon as it starts becoming sexualized and it's below 18, that's the hard fucking line for me. And it's like, no, it's it's below 18. And that's where, like, you can even go to other movies, like, say, American Pie, which, you know, talks about the journey, uh, you Whoa. know, coming up through adolescence and stuff, both for males and females, right? Because you've got, you know, the uh, girlfriend of, uh, you know, what's his name? He's in there, you know, going down, to, you know, going down to Chowtown on her. Right, she has experiences her first fucking orgasm, and then you got old oh boy, you know, picking up baked goods, right? You know, so you like, you've got something for everybody there, and it's you know, on the latter half of the the high school year, they're getting ready to graduate and prom. You can pretty much infer everybody's eighteen and over, even though we all know that there's sometimes people have a late birthday or something weird like that, you know. So it's but it's it's adult, it's adult, and it's Adults adult playing the kids. You know, so, so but I'm the, the only thing I'm I'm saying though is that there have been movies that have depicted. I mean, there are plenty of movies with boys. I'm not saying it's right, that's... but I'm saying I think it's I think it's I think I, I don't think it's right, but I think that it's been happening, and it's so strange that that there's all this outrage around this. That's all. You because know? things go oh, viral. Yeah, so obviously, it, big it, thing has more eyes on it than small thing. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. I just no, got a question for CTV. I think it's another aspect. Like, I just think it's this because people... those were. Okay. Go ahead, Chad. I would Sorry, just say, very... I think it's because I those are made okay. today. This is when this we is know super all these important. Things. This is super important. Okay, 
I want to hear a bit more from CTV about what Chowtown looks like. Go on. Mm. Well, see, oh what God. happened was is they found this book, right? And they, they were going into the tornado tongue twister, right? And this, and I'm just telling you, he had the book right there referencing it for the specific moves and diagrams. I feel like it's, you know, once you, once you get to, uh, you know, a level of mastery, you end up coming with your own patterns anyway. But in the movie, right, it shows like the coming of age and the learning and, and all that stuff. And, and I felt like it being, you know, adult people, right, in adult situations, right, uh, getting ready to graduate high school, those things are acceptable. But as soon as you start mm -hmm. having, you know, actresses, actors, right, that are, you know, young mm -hmm. and they're participating in anything sexualized or sexualizing, that's where there's a hard line. And there's no way that I would be okay with any of that content being created, uh, fucking owned anything right like that's the, that's, that's fair no. enough i just want to check as well have you mastered the tongue twister yourself oh it's it's been it's like a couple of decades question three yeah yeah as a matter of fact that's like a, that's like a great opener if, if you're with a chick and she doesn't know whether or not she's uh she's ready to you know make that next step just be like hey listen then uh i'm gonna be drinking a little bit of moonshine my tongue's gonna get a little bit twisty and i enjoy right a certain kind of flavor if you know you're open if you're opening up uh opening up the why so you know <laughs> is there anyone on the <laughs> here's something flavor? i wanted to say here's something i wanted to, to mention on this topic which is that okay so like part of the problem this is something that has been sort of danced around here but like part of the problem or this has been brought up a couple times like this idea that like oh well like these things are already happening but like the to my understanding uh like there are Cuties is not the only film like this, but other like activism films that do have like shocking content or, per or perhaps like depictions of horrible content, um, including, by the way, like I noticed that like we would not if, if, if there was a movie where kids like shot each other, which there's like multiple like there's tons of movies like Hunger Games is in a movie where ca characters and actors that are like under the age of 18 kill each other on camera. And it's obviously fake. They're not dead. That's not the same thing as, as it's not the same thing as reality. We can recognize that, right? So, like, these things happen. Like, the the whole point of a movie that 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 deals with like a tough topic like this is to get people to think about it, to go, "Oh God, this like depiction is a little bit troubling to me." In as far as I understand, in the case with cuties, like they had a a depiction of a dance. This is not a sex act; it's a sexualized thing, right? And they're showing this to say, guys, this is what happens behind the stages in these pageants and these dance competitions you people need to see this we recreated it in a safe environment so that with no one being hurt so that with you can see real what's going on. eight to twelve stop. i wasn't done no there's no done. stop like what do you mean like that's my only issue with this how can you comment on it if you haven't like seen the full movie? How do you know like if you know the whole context? Because well, I read not you, the whole not I was talking script. to her. I was, I'm I was sorry. Talking I, to her. I haven't I haven't made any claims about about the movie itself. I'm you just made a claim about a whole dance scene and gave totally us all the context. What the fuck are you talking about? Holy Did crap! You listen to, um, yeah, I listened to the whole thing. You were explaining yeah. the sequence. Excuse yeah, me. I actually totally literally. Explained. I hate you I people so much. That was I more detailed know. than half the movie review channels I watch I on YouTube. Hate, I actually hate all of you people. You are like the most impossible to talk to. That's people. okay. I love no, me enough for the both you. of us. Wait, listen, here's the, wait, yeah, so sure we you love know. you, okay? <laughs> Look, sure, Jake. Sure. What I'm getting from this is a, is a disconnection in, in like the, the arguments that, that we're making. So from my understanding... I, mean, I didn't even get what I was saying. Correct but... me if I'm wrong. I think Dima Mama's making the argument... You're arguing that against no one on this panel then if that's what you're arguing. I... I think the Sorry. argument is that American Nacho is acting irresponsibly to take a super hard anti this movie stance if he hasn't seen it yet. From everything I've seen, Demon Mama seems to have been criticizing that, and the only takes on the movie I've seen from Demon Mama so far have been what the creator of the movie has said in interviews and and what's and then that the, whole the descriptor of the of entire the scene. Look, with. I know you want to literally some fucking excuse Demon me, Mama I never... nipples, but like, bro, she's dude, doing dude, the exact dude, same stop. thing. Okay, stop. stop. The... She's doing nasty. the exact same thing. She said, admittedly, that she hasn't seen the movie. Stop. So what's the I difference never, here? Are you, st you literally? This is one of the weirdest I'm things ever. I'm not even talking you, to you anymore. You're I'm just asking you're Xander Hall if he, if he understands. You, 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 you talked about nipples. Come on, let's be real I've, here, I've, okay? Like, really, I've really what? Had, I've actually, what's wrong with that? Me. 
Can we wrap wait, this? Wait, wait, wrap this? nipples is wrong for yeah. me? Wait, I, what? I just want to, I want to, wait, just a second, guys. I, I want to wrap like this up. My cat is like and wants to leave. Like, this is Yeah, bad. I under, I understand. Okay, so let's, I want to move on. Can I go now? I'm going to go now. This is taking forever and there's nothing. Yeah, the where's the, where's the, Where's the drawing? I think CTV? I'm gonna go now. Bye, I everybody. It to you in the DM. My name's Demon Mama. I uh, ha had an interesting time on the panel. Fuck. Matter of fact, that was the you. first one. Good logic, I love you. Zan, I love you. Stardust, I love you. Okay. Uh, well, we, thank you for joining uh, we us. Still love you. Nacho, fall in a ditch. Uh, CTV, I, you're I gonna know, be. I still in love you. you can, Nick Dory, I'm talking to you. Anytime. Bye, if everyone. You wanna talk, I everyone. talk. I had much love. No, I never want to talk to you again. Love. You're really annoying. Yep, I know. Nice meeting you. You don't it like talking to me, be able to challenge you. That's why you won't talk to I, Destiny or anybody it. else anymore. It's fine. Really? Is this, is See you this later. Even the, even the Wait, after? Nacho, Bye. you're you're doing oh it again, God. Nacho. Okay, actually, I do have I do have a bone to pick with you, Nacho. You are actually interrupting everybody. Like it's not just Demon <laughs> Mom. You're just interrupting her. everybody. It's everybody. It's everybody. It's everybody. You've been quite interrupty. I'm it's not gonna everybody. lie. No, yeah. no, you know. Uh, let's be real. Let's call it what it is. Okay. Yeah. Nick, I shouldn't have called you a cunt. That was too far. You're, oh, you're I appreciate quite funny. that. It was, it was, it was nice. I, I disagree with some of the things that you said, and I feel like you might have mischaracterized me a little bit. But I enjoyed talking to you. But uh, the the rest stands for CTV and Nacho. See ya. Are you still here? Yeah, I am. You want me to stay a little longer? Absolutely. Yes, we do. We would like yeah, for you to actually absolutely. stay through. Like what? <laughs> okay. Nobody wanted. Nobody CTV, wanted her to leave. I, I actually don't see the drawing from you. How do you not Are see you it? Sure you, you, did, did you exploitation of children oops. now? Okay, oh, did you, let's did give you them an manage, award. Did you notice? Did you notice that my sentence hadn't finished there, little big boy? You noted a big sentence. Yeah, I did. Man? That's why I intruded. Your, Dude, your sentence cunt. never fucking finishes, man. I did oh, not. Oh, okay. me... I did not expect that ending at all. What the fuck? Well, I appreciate that. I didn't know she said that until like three seconds ago, but I was not expecting that at all. Holy shit. That was the biggest problem with that fucking paddle is that they're like, well, actually, this could be bad. We're not going to make a hard distinction, but hypothetically, maybe someone on Twitter might find that this other thing is not as bad. Now, why do you think that is? Maybe it might be because this other thing isn't as publicly seen as this one viral Twitter trend. But why do you think that some people are vocal about the viral thing and not about the niche thing? Yeah, dude, that, it's such a, you can't argue that. It's like, well, I think that exploiting children is wrong. So this person says like, okay, but like, nobody gave a shit when American Pie came out. Well, if I watch American Pie now, I might think those same things are weird. It's just like, I don't know, dude, there are so many people who watch Big Mouth and go, this whole show is about pedophilia. Like, I mean, not, not about pedophilia, but it, this whole show is like pedophilia. Really fucking weird. It's a whole show about teenagers ha getting puberty and fucking. It's so fucking weird. Really weird show, it throws everybody off. And then Cuties comes out and they're like, well, how come nobody draws attention to X, Y, and Z? Well, I mean, they draw attention to fucking A right over there with Big Mouth. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I don't like the argument of like, hey man, there's this hypothetical Twitter user who might think one thing, and I don't like that guy. All of you guys are good, and I'm not gonna give a distinction on the controversial thing, but this hypothetical person who thinks that A is bad but B is good is pretty bad. That's a real based opinion to just dodge everyone's question on the panel, you know? Um, yeah, two things can simultaneously be bad. I can think that child beauty pageants are bad, and I can think that exploiting children to teach you about exploiting children is pretty bad. And no, parents being in the room with express supervision of adults doesn't make child exploitation any less, less exploitative. Especially when we're looking at the poster, which was child exploitation. Like, it's so obvious what we're looking at, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, that part where she said that she didn't watch the movie was like insane to me because she literally went after somebody for talking about the movie who hadn't seen it previously and she was like explaining the talking points as to why like it's the same talking points I see on Twitter the same talking points I see on Reddit like it's it's the same shit. And then she goes on this whole rant, and I didn't get to tie it back, where she's like, the leftists are doing this, the leftists are defending this, the leftists are putting it out there. And I'm like, you're, you're, you literally identify as a leftist and you're arguing against my take on this panel. So like, what the fuck are you talking about, right? Like, it's like, well, all those conservative media outlets and I could send them to you. We're saying that the leftists were defending this shit. Well, you're defending this movie right now to me. And I, I mean like, fuck, right? Like, am I crazy? Hey, what's going Hello? on? Hey, not much. What's up with you? That was a really fun stream. I think that was my favorite one we did so far. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. So your chat uh, was giving you a little bit of trouble? Yeah, they were freaking out. Like, people... I mean, not, like, not anybody, like... I don't know, it's weird. Like, people I, I've seen plenty of times in the chat were, like, freaking out at my take on it, mm -hmm. but, um... And, and then a couple of people were freaking out about me, like, telling uh, Nacho off, actually. Dude, Nacho, uh, no offense, was so fucking annoying on that fucking panel. Because I agreed with, like, the first five words of every sentence. And then I stopped yeah. agreeing mid-sentence. And I felt like I was yeah. playing so centrist. Because, I, like, he brought up Jeffrey Epstein in the Cuties argument. Which is actually, unironically, a Malthy Buddha talking point on BitChute. Mm -hmm. Like, it's unironically a video he made. Like, Pedogate Part 3, Cuties Experiment, or something like that. And I was just, like, my brain bled. That's why I made a comment about Pizzagate in the middle of that. Because it just, it made me want to yeah. punch a wall. Like, this is the stupid... I actually unmuted my chat to yell. I'm like, I totally agree, disagree with Stardust and Demon Mama right now. But I cannot make it look like I agree with whatever the fuck this guy is saying um yeah and he also would monologue exactly as long as demon mama but when demon mama did it it was bad yeah 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 like there may be some truth in her monologuing but um but him interrupting certainly didn't like make the monologue shorter you know yeah i noticed it's like if i, I can, there's no way i can get in there because if i get in there he's gonna stop me and continue arguing with demon mama and if i stop demon mama she's gonna just get mad at me for five minutes and never finish her point and have to restart it again uh, yeah. there was just no way to intrude in that conversation uh and, yeah. and that's annoying i wish they would have just had a debate <laughs> like on their uh, yeah uh, yeah but uh yeah you didn't do but... anything wrong by calling that out and the cuties take like look there's certain shit um because you're not a, a a complete leftist streamer you have a big open audience of a lot of people um people vote like are very vocal on that movie they hate that fucking movie yeah so you're always gonna run I into wonder trouble. how many of i wonder how many people have actually seen it though or just hate it because of everything around it that oh my god you're just you're you're bringing up like ptsd that conversation Am I crazy really? for being, like, laughing as hard as I did at that? That, like, she brought up fucking... She was literally shitting on someone for talking about the movie and not seeing it. And, like, everyone had just took that as, well, Demon Mom has obviously seen it. Because she talked about it for, like, 30 fucking minutes. And then I asked her, because I, yeah. I was asking her a leading question to get her on a different point. And then she goes, I haven't seen the movie. And I was... My brain exploded, Stardust. Yeah. It fucking exploded. Like, I, I was... Like, my noggin started jogging. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was just I was in another fucking planet. I couldn't believe that happened. Um, yeah, it. I, I, yeah, I, it was stressful. It was very stressful. <laughs> but yeah. um, I hope uh, I don't know. I'm just not used to my chat being that vocally against me. But I guess I guess you're right in that. Like, it, it's a pretty center leaning audience, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like she made this whole point to say stuff like um, that, like the the right the rightoids were writing tons of articles bashing leftists for defending this, and I was trying to lead her into saying, "Well, don't you identify as a leftist? Haven't you spent the last thirty minutes defending?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, I was like, "They're like, yeah, they're right. What yeah. are you talking about?" Like, because I yeah. I was sitting here, I I don't know who said this, but it was like, they're gonna choose this battle right here, and it's gonna make the left look fucking terrible. Um, yeah, and it's just one of those that like just move on from this. There, there's no reason to bring back the cuties discourse in uh, December of 2021. Yeah. Just take the L on it. And it's like it's like you said. Obviously, the movie has um, like obviously the movie had like um, issues in terms of its like push by Netflix, and uh, obviously people aren't always as uh, broken up about certain tropes when it's men or when it's older films and stuff like that. Um, and there might be a bit of a, a disproportionate response to this, but like, yeah. it's the same disproportionate response you'll see when a YouTuber makes a really good video but has no audience, and a YouTuber makes mm -hmm. a really bad video but that gets a lot of views. The one that went viral is gonna obviously get more clicks and more discourse and more like, you know, push and stuff like that. Whereas maybe the quality product doesn't always get seen by as many people and it's like oh wow i wish yeah. this got more views it's like yeah i'm sorry not every pageant's gonna drum up as much hate as like the viral movie with that picture that went live on one of the biggest streaming services in the world yeah um yep that's true 
certainly. Sure, that there's I, like I don't hypotheticals. Know enough about... Like I'm, I'm sure you can make up a hypothetical person who thinks beauty pageants are fantastic but hates cuties. But I would argue that's yeah. probably like a very small percentage of Twitter morons, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the main point was just that it's strange to see how worked up people were about it when they were never worked up about other things that happen on a daily basis. But I can it's see because they're not like, thinking I, of it I, when it's not staged. Yeah, they're in that not. Way. Like, yeah, and, and that's like if you were as like, well, it's society. It's weird that we have like so we 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 expect certain things to be the way that they are, and we don't see the issue in it. But when something's pointed out, it breaks our whole like understanding yeah. of it. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I, d I d definitely don't think of things in that kind of like viral context for sure. So yeah, I mean, there's tons of probably. stupid dramas that happen all the time, and yeah. I'm exposed to them because I'm like a fucking Twitter addict, and I see everything happening. Yeah, it's like, yeah. why is this ever? Why is anyone talking about this at all? I have no idea. Well, it's some idiot went trending on TikTok, so now it's like the big topic. Like, why are we talking yeah. about the uh, the c word slur discourse like this is such a stupid issue why don't we talk about something more productive and it's like well this is unfortunately the thing that went viral for the day so i have to put in my stream yeah. title and then put us on piker in there so i can catch a few refugee viewers you know yeah yeah definitely <laughs> yeah anyways i think oh. you did a good job uh on this podcast this was definitely the most aggressive one um uh, and i had a feeling it would be i was yeah i didn't know anyone was gonna storm out i thought there'd be some muting but there wasn't any yeah. muting. Um, well, I mean... Uh, well, to be fair, I did mute Nacho at one point. Oh, did you? I, I didn't I even notice really that. Yeah. I got super annoyed because I was trying to finish a point and he kept interrupting me. And then, yeah, I just muted him. I so. went to ask you a question. I got my point out. And then, like, he's like, well, wait, actually, let me get in there. And then he went on, like, a six-minute rant saying exactly what I said to you, just longer. And my brain blew. Oh.